this is Hashmi Indianese Academy YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to continue the research 2021 reinforcement concrete structures, best 20 questions lecture series. Uh, today, today's concept is the limit state of serviceability. So that means uh, we are going to discuss 31 questions regarding this concept for your reset examination. So you may think this video is very useful and helpful for your preparation to boost up your information as well as uh, keep as a reference also. So before starting this session, I request you all, if anybody didn't subscribe my channel till now, please do subscribe. So if you like my videos, please do like and share with your friends and subscribe my channel. So coming to this session here, see the first question. Effective span for simply supported beam or slab. Effective span. What is the effective span formula? Effective span for simply supported beam is as per IS 4.62000. List of the following. List of the following. That is, first one is clear span plus effective depth. And second one is center to center support. So you don't need layer list and as it is pronounced. So that means option number B is the right answer. So the next question minimum eccentricity in column equation. So E minimum is equal to formula for minimum eccentricity L by 500 plus D by 30. So option number A is the right answer. Next, coming to third question here. Minimum eccentricity in a column is. So minimum eccentricity is 20 mm. Next, thickness of concrete from surface of reinforcement bar to the nearest edge of concrete is called. See the question once again. Thickness of concrete from the surface of reinforcement bar to the nearest edge of concrete is called nominal cover, shear cover, effective cover, both A and B. So here option number D is the right answer. Nominal cover or clear cover. See the next question here. Thickness of concrete from the center of the nearest edge of concrete is called thickness of concrete from the center of the nearest edge of concrete is called nominal cover, clear cover, effective cover, both A and B. See the answer here, effective cover is the right answer. Next, nominal cover should not be less than, nominal cover should not be less than diameter of the bar. So nominal cover should not be less than diameter of the bar. So this is the most important point. Keep it in your mind. For mild exposure, nominal cover not less than. For mild exposure, nominal cover not less than 20 mm. A is the right answer. For moderate exposure, nominal cover not less than 30 mm. So keep these points all in your mind. Very, very useful for your reset point of view. If anybody didn't subscribe my channel, please do subscribe and like my video. So coming to next question. For serve exposure nominal cover, not less than. So that is 45 mm is the right answer. For serve exposure nominal cover. Next, for very serve exposure nominal cover, not less than. So here the option is D, 50 mm. Keep these all nominal covers for different exposure conditions. Very, very important questions. These are from ESA point of view. Coming to next question. For ex extreme exposure, nominal cover not less than. Option number A is the right answer, 75 mm. Why minimum reinforcement is required? To prevent excessive local curvature, okay, right answer. Next, to provide resistance to shear force, it is also correct. 
to provide resistance to unforced forces applied during construction it is also correct for so requirements of minimum reinforcement is the for all options are correct that means all the above is the right answer next minimum reinforcement in slab for mild steel 0.12% of total cross sectional area 0.15% of total cross sectional area 0.20% of total cross sectional area 0.24% of total cross sectional area here the option is 0.15% is the right answer for mild steel minimum reinforcement in slab is 0.15% of total cross sectional area see the next question minimum reinforcement in slab for tar steel for tar steel 0.12% of cross sectional area remember this minimum reinforcement concepts also very very useful for your reset point of view guys next 15 question for distribution steel minimum diameter of the bar is 6 mm distribution steel minimum diameter of bar is 6 mm next minimum tension reinforcement in beam for fe250 minimum tension reinforcement in beam for fe250 is 0.34% is the right answer next minimum tension reinforcement in beam for fe415 remember this tension reinforcements also that means option number b is the right answer minimum tension reinforcement in beam for fe415 is 0.20% next when depth of web exceeds dash side face reinforcement is re uh, required when depth of the web is exceed dash side face reinforcement is required so that means point that is option here point 40% is the right answer next the spacing of side face reinforcement shall not exceed the smaller of spacing of side face reinforcement shall not exceed smaller of 300 mm web thickness that means over both option number a and b that means option number c is the right answer coming to next question side face reinforcement total calculated steel is equally distributed on side face reinforcement total calculated steel is equally distributed on two faces so these are the very very important questions please do like my video and share with your friends tell them to subscribe okay after subscription don't forget to tap on the bell icon for more updates coming to next question here well by the ratio for control of deflection for cantilever slab or beam so l by d ratio for cantilever beam is 7 a is the right answer next l by d ratio for control deflection for cantilever slab or beam 26 cantilever ka the 7 ho cantilever slab or beam ka the 26 as per is 456 2000 next clear distance between two supports is called clear distance between two supports is called clear span next in beam of cracking spacing should not exceed in beam for cracking spacing should not exceed 300 mm next for a simply supported slab of clear span 3 meters effective depth 140 mm wall thickness is 300 mm what is the effective span of slab what is the effective span formula effective span equal to clear span plus effective depth okay so that means what is the clear span value here 3 meters effective depth is 0.14 that is equal to 3.14 meters is the effective span option number c is the right answer next state the formula to find the development length of bar ld is equal to pi sigma s by 4 tau bd is the formula so option number a is the right answer next the length of reinforcement embedded in concrete so that it can develop the bond stress is termed as 
see the question once again the length of reinforcement embedded in concrete so that it can develop the bond stress is termed as cracking length development length deflection slippage that is nothing but development length next design bond stress for m20 grade concrete design bond stress for m20 grade concrete is as per code 1.2 newton per mm square in bond stress for deformed bonds increase value by 25 percent 40 percent 60 80 percent see the question once again in bond stress for deformed bars increased value by 60 percent next in bond stress for compression increased value by in bond stress for compression increased value by 25 percent next the development of each bar of bonded bar shall be that the individual bar increased by 10% of two bars in contact okay 20% for three bars in contact this is also right 33% for four bars in contact these three options are correct so option number d is the right answer so these are the some important questions we gathered and explained in this video which is very useful for your research point of view so i request you all of once all of you go through this video and if you think or if you feel this content is very useful for your research preparation please like my video and share with your friends subscribe my channel after subscription don't forget to tap on the bell icon for more updates thank you thank you for watching